today we're talking with Nan Watson. <clears throat> I understand that you uh, play cello in the Dayton Philharmonic. Uh, yes, I've played for 26 years with the Philharmonic. This will be my 27th year this year. <clears throat> How did you uh, get started? Uh, my mother said I was going to play the cello. She wanted to complete a quartet. She had two violin players and a violist, so I was the cello player, <laughs> the chosen okay. cello player. How did you uh, go along the road to, uh, to becoming a, a cellist in the Philharmonic? Uh, when I was in seventh grade, my mom and dad took me to hear the um, Minnesota Orchestra, and I thought it was the greatest sound I'd ever heard in my life, so I decided I wanted to be a cellist, for real. <laughs> <clears throat> and then how did you make it happen? I took private lessons. That's when you really learn your instrument more than just playing in school. I mean, I don't really know of anyone that has been self-taught that plays in a major orchestra. They've all taken private lessons that I, I've ever spoken with. My parents actually drove me 300 miles for lessons my junior and senior year of wow. high school. Uh, so when I was in college, I went to University of Iowa first. I thought I'd start in education, and then I switched and I went to Cincinnati Conservatory of Music and got a cello performance degree from them. What are some of the pieces that you've really enjoyed playing? Uh, Mahler, and uh, Mahler V is one of my favorite symphonies, and I think part of that reason is because it has such a great cello part in it. I love Brahms too, and Beethoven, so when we play Beethoven, I always, there's always one movement where I wish I had been a violin player instead of a cellist. <laughs> what composer would you like uh, if, you, if that was the only composer you could play for the rest of your life? I guess if I had to play one composer the rest of my life, it would be Bach. Hmm. Thank you, Nan, for uh, visiting with us today. You're welcome. Thank you.